What is up everybody? My name is Austin and you are watching the Power Stoke channel. Before we start today's video, please hit that subscribe button and like this video. So today's video, although it's raining and I complain all the time about the rain because you know, it sucks. Look what's missing off the Ford. The mirrors are off. We're about to start color matching. It's gonna look so much better. I think it's gonna be a nice accent to the truck. And I have a new grill on the way. It's not anything special. It's, it's a stock grill, but it doesn't have the chrome. So I'm gonna try color matching that and see how that looks. I think it'll look pretty sweet. So let's get this other mirror off and let's get to painting. All right, now with both mirrors off the truck, we can finally start color matching and get this thing looking pretty sweet. Don't trucks and cars in general look weird without the mirrors? You wouldn't think that they're such an important part of the design. All right, guys, as you can see, I have one of the mirrors masked off already working on the second. This is the only part that I'm gonna be color matching. I think it'll look pretty good. And I always figured, you know, you can add more paint, you can't take it off. That's why I'm not color matching the entire mirror yet. I'm okay, so now that we have both mirrors completely masked off, what you wanna do is clean the spot really, really well where you're gonna paint. You don't want anything in there that's gonna cause the paint to have a little bump in it or anything. You wanna get rid of all that debris. So what I'm gonna use is some simple green here and a rag. I'm gonna wipe them down pretty well, make sure there's nothing on them anymore. And then I'm gonna hit them with a filler primer so that way they fill in all these little plastic bumps. I don't know if you can see them. One coat done. All right, while we wait for the layers of paint to dry on the mirrors, here's the Tahoe, the 215s. My dad's fixing them. It was The left one was rattling pretty bad. My girlfriend's been cleaning the interior. It looks absolutely amazing. This was my first rig, as you guys know. I did a video about it, oh, several months ago now. Um, it's, it was my first vehicle. It's been a really, really good vehicle. Here's the front of it. It's a little dirty on the carpet, but it's an old vehicle. It's got 251,000 miles on the original motor and transmission and this thing will still squeal them if you punch it. All right, now that the primer has been put on here, it looks pretty good. It's time to finally start painting with some color match. My truck is the Oxford white with the, I don't remember the secondary color, but this is the only color I care about because I'm matching the top to the body of the truck. And it decided to start dumping as Oregon does. So now we have this sweet little setup here. You can crouch underneath and paint and get the fumes in your face. Awesome. All right, guys, the mirrors are done. What do you think? I love them. I think they look really good. It's a nice accent to the truck really ties it together and it gives it that new style look. The paint actually came out pretty nice. It's, it's, it's in good shape. It just looks really, really sharp. I really, really like it. We got Sarge sitting here in the back. He's ready to go home. So that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was actually a pretty easy job. So if you guys are thinking about color matching your mirrors, it's pretty easy to tackle and I highly recommend you do it. It, it really does change the look of the truck. It's kind of getting more towards that look I want of all color match and no chrome. So I can't wait to get there. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. We're at, I think we're at 600 subscribers now. That is insane. Holy cow, guys. 100 subscribers a week. We're going to hit that 2,000 in no time. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you in the next video.